so the first point which i wish to make is that pakistan must realize the people of pakistan must realize that pakistan has repeatedly come to grief because of the actions of pakistan army now that is the internal matter why did they do this obviously they felt that they could get away with it what i want to tell you is this that as far as we are concerned and i have spent 40 years in the army and out of that more than 20 years in jammu and kashmir i am familiar with this area i know exactly what could have happened obviously when you are locked on eyeball to eyeball there could be clashes whether it is uri or it could be mandar or anywhere else but and these clashes happen we are all wear uniform and we are there to defend our frontier and casualties would take place i salute these two martyrs who laid down their lives and i share the grief of their families but the fact of the matter is that any soldierly fight if a person is martyred we should take pride in it and i think we are proud of it but what pakistan has done is something which is very very barbaric and cowardly and that is where the rub lies what should we do as far as we are concerned i think media has done a great job by bringing it to fore but i think we need to do much more than that first of all as far as the indian army is concerned i have no doubts no, that general at the general level general, there would be a suitable response coming. no no general nirbay singh let's nirbay let's sharma. no no general nirbay singh no one minute one minute general nirbay singh now i think that general nirbay sharma one minute general nirbay sharma one minute let's please get the get a yeah. very clear sense of whether pakistan will be made to feel answerable we'll look at long term strategies later chandan mitra do you believe the That's pakistanis can to. be made to feel answerable as of now what would you say to general qureshi for example or brigadier javed or no, to tari kazim who have completely rejected the notion of a pakistani hand no no look this is part of the pakistani and now can i make a point one minute finish my conversation this collective collective there no, one minute please this collective denial this is a well orchestrated game plan of the pakistani establishment and all the three gentlemen on your show today are very much part of the pakistan establishment and to prove that everything works in tandem in pakistan today you have their foreign minister ms uh, hina rabbani khar saying that pakistan wants to normalize all relations with india including trade and what do they do at the chakan ka bag uh, crossing in punch they stop all indian trucks from crossing over so they stop the trade they stop the trade and the minister says they want uh, proper trade so this whole thing is a web of hypocrisy and we cannot believe a single word of what they say the establishment is united because the establishment thrives on this on this kind of con conflict scenario they will provoke they will create situations in which india and pakistan can never live in peace because it is in their vested interest to see to it the india pakistan tensions continue and they will use sometimes their own army sometimes their own uh, you know uh, paltu uh, militants to create problems for um, uh, the peace process G general qureshi you respond in kind you have to hurt pakistan or otherwise they will never learn general qureshi you are really leaving no option do you want the ceasefire which came into effect on november 26 2003 to now be officially scrapped is that what a pakistan is asking for first of all i disagree with what the gentleman has just said we are not part of any establishment why well, you could have said that when you were in the when i was in the army but there is no establishment that briefs us or tells us that this is what has happened frankly we found out on our own and it is a mindset that i have speaks. confirmed news that even now, now please listen to me that even the spokesman of the northern command has said that there was no beheading if that be true if that be true so that is completely not true no i would request you i would no, request okay, you not fine, to no no fine. i would request you not to make a misplaced attempt to misquote a northern area commander when he no, has no, not no, said no, that no, yes. no i have please i would request I'm, you is, i have the indian there, army's official there, point no, no, of no, view no no, no you cannot you cannot no, speak an untruth you talk no you, you cannot talk speak an untruth if, uh, unfortunately no. you're the anchor of a of no no a, of one second show and you talk as if you general, represent general qureshi the indian do you reasonably army. expect how, how can you general qureshi do you reasonably expect that i would allow you to say something which has no factual basis which is an untruth and not question you on it and you have no business really? you are no one 
to either allow or disallow someone to say something. Really? I will give my opinion. I, no, but I want, I want to, to know, to I want opinion. to know whether you now, expect General now, Qureshi if, if, that you, if no, in future, no. if in future, if in future you're going to allow or disallow people to voice an Ge opinion, General Qureshi, then I'm afraid General Qureshi, then you prove right here, right now, now on now. News R tonight. Yes. You prove the entire, so all of India is watching talking. you. General don't Qureshi, start you're not, the don't in, start saying. General no, you, Qureshi, you answer the question. Me, that don't start saying that you will not allow. No, Who General you? Qureshi, you, you can tell me I am nobody. A, this is talk show, no, no, no. I am and your, General Qureshi. Uh, and your don't job get so angry. is to orchestrate the talk show. General Qureshi. Allow or disallow no, no. people. You are mistaken. Voice an opinion. You are mistaken. That's the problem. You are mistaken, General Qureshi. That's the problem that you, the Indian oh, no. uh, media has. You are today. evasive. You are avoiding. They make up an opinion hmm. and they make up uh, their mind that this is what they have to say. Yeah. Perhaps briefed by the Indian government. I am and so then you sorry. go ahead and I am so organize sorry. the talk show in such a I am fashion, so sorry. allowing. Or disallowing general, people to say general, or make an opinion. General, general Qureshi. General Qureshi. Uh, yeah, one second, one second, one second. General Qureshi. Very I, I think everybody in this country who is watching the program tonight knows exactly to what extent I allow myself to be briefed by anyone, leave alone that by the government. But let me tell you this. I want you to tell me today, General Qureshi. You've given him so much time. T no, I want General Qureshi, I want you to tell me what the Indian Army's official testimony on this matter is. Have they said or not that the beheading took place? I yes or no? Just I heard, just before I came on this show, that the spokesman who's a Mr. some Kalia of the Northern Command has said that there was no beheading. Sir, I am so sorry. I am so sorry you've got it so wrong. I am sorry. That's Northern complete Kamar. rubbish. No. no. And then that's complete then rubbish. We can have another discussion. Sir, that's complete rubbish. I must say this to you. I am telling you then, clearly. Then, right then, out. Then, that, then, please don't. No, no. Why? Maruf wants to respond. Before Maruf. 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 Maruf is responding to you, sir. I will tell you once again, General Qureshi. You are completely factually incorrect. You are not answering my questions. You are avoiding my questions and trying to avoid the critical issue. Of I, the culpability I, I, of the Pakistani. Your question question is, is no, not by, by not some people answering your question. who don't want to get out to the main General issue. Qureshi, sir. Maruf. General Qureshi, sir. General Qureshi, sir, quick question. If you are saying, and you are quoting sure. the so called spokesman of the Northern Command who said apparently this hasn't yes. happened, would you deny that last year your troops had carried out a similar beheading in the area? generally across Uri sector and these beheadings are not the first and the last but have been done on several occasions by your army and there is evidence about that whereas the claim from your army that we have done something similar like that do you have evidence and if you did why didn't you go public with it earlier is that Maruf yes sir <coughs> Maruf, you, you okay, Maru, well, uh, to answer your question, one, market. what happened last year, if it did happen, I am not in picture. What you said about a beheading taking place in Uri sector last year, I am not in picture whether any such thing happened so or may not. may I ask you so another frankly, question? don't blame me for, you know, let me first answer this. So therefore, don't accuse me of knowing things that no, I've sir, never heard. Then, no, no, yes. but then if you generally... Why I say this, sir, with respect, sir, with respect, sir, why I say this is you seem to know more about what's happening on our end. I thought having been so close to the establishment yeah, in Pakistan, yeah. you would at least know what's happening at your end. Gen Colonel, Colonel Thapar wants to ask you a question at this stage. What's a Colonel Thapar is asking a question to no, General no, Qureshi. I, and General Qureshi, let me also tell you... I am, let, one sec. Colonel Thapar goes ahead first. Colonel Thapar to General Qureshi. Yeah, I'm always amused by what, general, what the general says. He claims to have spent 40 years in the army. And yet, uh, when we talk about the patrolling at the border, he's imagining that somebody else has uh, uh, cut the head and taken it off. Obviously, there's an action between two army that. units. I have one not is on said the Pakistani that. Side Why are you putting Indian words side? that I have not said you as a quote from me? I have not said that. All right. You, so you therefore, also say your whole premise is wrong. Kalia. Your whole premise for the argument is absolutely wrong. Listen, you, yeah. you, 
listen to me first yeah, you said saurabh kalya he was uh, not killed by anybody but animals and birds did it but his body on his back there are all hold one mark on, hold on, hold on please one minute let him complete sir jan qureshi listen to him you see this colonel tapal is in game, game. and like like when we had the last discussion i asked you have you been on top have you ever seen an animal over there there is no trace of an animal there is no trace of a bird so how can you say that there are incidentally this is all futile there arguments are. So, there are no animals over there no. there are no there animals are, there are papa or whatever there. your name is let me let me answer this question no. my name is colonel tapar his name I is colonel tapar and he is he is the father of indian martyr in kargil late captain vijayan tapar thank you and butchered in kargil he may be he may be anyone respect. it doesn't matter he is right what yes so, you've got to listen now you've said that you quoted me having said that you? the pakistan army or surav kalia was not killed by the pakistan army i did not say that i said there was a fire fight when an indian patrol stumbled onto pakistani positions there was a fire fight in the exchange of fire some people got killed now pakistan army didn't go across no, to find I'll out tell you, i'll tell you why they were general qureshi and where they were general qureshi it was one and a half month later general qureshi oh, let me finish now it was one and a half month later that your dgmo and please confirm from your director general military operations of the indian army who rang up pakistani dgmo and asked for the recovery of the people the pakistani dgmo said that we do not know where they are however we look for them i'm i'm and pakistan sent out a search party and recovered some bodies from a crevice no one second one and a half month Those no, no, no. bodies had been lying there. Sir, and one minute. Sir, let me. This is very fertile. Sir, one that minute. Is, sir, sir, one minute. One no minute. General Qureshi, you are tying no, yourself up in knots. No buzzers. General Qureshi. Then you are absolutely wrong. General Qureshi. Yeah, General Qureshi, why? Your problem is. General, you ask the question. All I want to say. And then do you do not listen to? No, no. General Qureshi, you are tying yourself up in knots. My friends won't believe your bundle of lies. Sir, General Qureshi, you are tying yourself up in knots. I'll tell you why. You are tying yourself well, up in knots, sir. I think what you are saying is a bundle of lies. General Qureshi, I think each word General, that you spoke is a lie. General Qureshi, I'll I'll tell you one thing. I know that you were military spokesperson to Musharraf, and I know your loss in so? Kargil must sting you deeply somewhere. But oh my God, oh my God! <laughs> I mean, how you digress? No, I how didn't say anything. How you change the subject? Just, I just, I am yes, coming to the point. I never digress. 